CPS families, and welcome fourth and fifth grade students. Welcome to this last edition of ELA Read Alouds. Well, before school's out for summer. Speaking of summer, we have a special program for you today. It's all about summer reading. It's so important to keep practicing your reading skills over the summer. So today, we are going to give you a lot of recommendations for fiction reading, hitting as many genres as possible, nonfiction reading, and recommendations for graphic novels too. Listen as we give you a synopsis or a quick summary of each book recommendation as well as a few other recommended books that align to the book's author or the book's topic. Feel free to grab some paper and a pencil so you can jot down any of the books that pique your interest. This will help you know what you're looking for when you head out to the public library or visit your school's online Destiny Library or even log in to any of the Baltimore County digital content sites found on Schoology. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to start off with fiction recommendations. Our first book up is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. If you haven't had the chance yet to read this first book, you definitely want to consider it this summer. Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Wonder is about August Pullman, who was born with a facial difference that up till now has prevented him from going to a mainstream school. Starting fifth grade at a new school, Beecher Prep, he wants nothing more than to be treated as an ordinary kid, but his new classmates can't get past Augie's extraordinary face. This book tells an incredible, compelling story about how to confront the discomfort around differences and how to always choose kindness. If you've already read Wonder, and you would like to read more about Augie and his life, you might like the prequel titled Augie and Me or White Bird, which is another book Palacio wrote with the character Augie. But this story is told by Augie's grandmother and about her challenges growing up as a Jewish girl in France during World War II. Next on the list is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Every year, the people of the Protectorate leave a baby as an offering to the witch who lives in the forest. They hope this sacrifice will keep her from terrorizing their town. But the witch in the forest, Zan, is kind and gentle. She shares her home with a wise swamp monster named Glurk and a perfectly tiny dragon, Firion. Zan rescues the abandoned children and delivers them to welcoming families on the other side of the forest, nourishing the babies with starlight on the journey. One year, Zan accidentally feeds a baby moonlight instead of starlight, filling the ordinary child with extraordinary magic. Zan decides she must raise this enmagicked girl, whom she calls Luna, as her own. To keep young Luna safe from her own unwieldy power, Zan locks her magic deep inside her. When Luna approaches her 13th birthday, her magic begins to emerge on schedule, but Zan is far away. Meanwhile, a young man from the Protectorate is determined to free his people by killing the witch. Soon, it is up to Luna to protect those who have protected her, even if it means the ending of the loving, safe world she's always known. You will not be able to put this one down. 
If you've already enjoyed this book, you might want to read Echo by Pam Munez Ryan or Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. Both of these novels have elements of fantasy woven throughout their pages. Our third recommendation is the four book track series by Jason Reynolds. Why should we only recommend one book from Jason Reynolds when we can recommend four? Each book in this series is told through the point of view of the title character. These four kids are from wildly different backgrounds with personalities that are explosive when they clash, but they're also four kids chosen for an elite middle school track team a team that could qualify them for the Junior Olympics. That's if they can get their acts together. They have a lot to lose, but they also have a lot to prove, not only to each other, but to themselves as well. Each of their stories is unique, and one is better than the next, beginning with the story told by Ghost. My favorite part of is that each book culminates into one big race at the end. But Master Jason Reynolds leaves the reader with a cliffhanger each time, and you have to read each book in order to find out who wins the race. If you have not checked out this four book series, you definitely might wanna do so this summer. Next up is Rainy Nightingale by Kate DiCamillo. If you loved reading Kate DiCamillo books in fourth grade, you will love Ramey Nightingale. It tells the story of three unlikely friends who meet in a baton twirling class and embark on a summer adventure. The story is set in central Florida in 1975, and DiCamillo has said that in many ways, it is her personal story too. If you enjoy Kate DiCamillo books, or if you've already read Ramey Nightingale, consider reading some other Kate D. Camillo books that are available on Tumble Books. You might also consider The One and Only Ivan, also on Tumble Books, or Love That Dog, that each explore unlikely friendships. Next up is Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. Brown Girl Dreaming is Woodson's memoir telling her own story about being raised in South Carolina and New York, and how she always felt halfway home in each place. In her vivid poetry, she shares what it was like to grow up as an African American in the 1960s and 1970s, living with the remnants of the Jim Crow laws and her growing awareness of the civil rights movement. Woodson is a natural storyteller that will make you feel like you were transported back to each event through her writing. If you're interested in more novels written in poetic verse, you may like the books The Poet X or Crossover. Both tell amazing stories of amazing people. Our next book is Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. Meet Willow, a 12-year-old genius obsessed with nature and diagnosing medical conditions who finds it comforting to count by sevens. It has never been easy for her to connect with anyone other than her adoptive parents, but that hasn't kept her from leading a quietly happy life until now. After tragedy strikes, fate lends a hand upon her meeting siblings, Mai and Quang Ha. This book will give you all the feels. It will make you laugh and cry and think about family, love, and what makes someone good. If you have read this book, or if you want to read something similar, consider Fish in a Tree by Linda Mullaly Hunt or Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper. And our last 
fiction book recommendation is Save Me a Seat by Sarah Weeks. Save Me a Seat is about two boys, Joe and Ravi. They might be from very different places, but they're both stuck in the same place, school. Joe's lived in the same town all his life. Ravi's family just moved to America from India, and he's finding it pretty hard to figure out where he fits in. Read about how these boys team up to resolve a common problem and in the end find themselves in a very special friendship. If you have read Save Me a Seat and enjoyed it, you might want to try one of these other stories, either Front Desk, which is another story about an immigrant family, or Because of Mr. Turrupt, which tells the story from the point of view from many students in one class and have one common bond. Moving on to nonfiction, we have a really fun educational website called Tween Tribune to share with you next. Here is a great online nonfiction option to explore. It's called Tween Tribune, and you can access it by going to www.tweentribune.com. Tween Tribune is a free educational website for students. Tween Tribune consists of daily news sites for kids, tweens, and teens and includes text, photos, graphics, and audio and or video materials prepared by the Smithsonian and others about current events, history, art, culture, and science. Are you interested in how the ancient Egyptians mummified bodies? Or do you think it would be cool to look up your address and how it has changed over the last several million years? Maybe you are interested in the International Space Station since we just sent astronauts up there to do some work and research. Tween Tribune has you covered. You could get lost exploring this website for hours. Our nonfiction book recommendation is I Am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. I Am Malala is a spectacular autobiography that tells about Malala's extraordinary journey from a remote village in northern Pakistan to the halls of the United Nations in New York. When she was 15, Malala was shot by the Taliban because she refused to be silenced and fought for her right to an education. At the age of 16, she has become a global symbol of peaceful protest and a worldwide symbol for women's equal rights. Fourth graders, you might remember reading about Malala earlier this year. If you haven't read this book, you would definitely want to spend part of your summer reading about how one girl can change the world. If you like reading nonfiction, you can also check out any of these books from these series. In the Who Would Win series, you could read about who would win in different battles. The battle could be between a polar bear and a grizzly bear, or a tarantula and a scorpion, or even a lion versus a tiger. You can choose any of the titles or battles in this series if you enjoy nonfiction. Another interesting series for nonfiction reading is the Who Was biography series. In the Who Was biography series, you can read about Michael Jordan, Jane Goodall, Louis Armstrong, and many, many others. Our last nonfiction recommendation is another educational website called Wonderopolis. Have you ever wondered about something random? Are all fruits juicy? Why do cats love to eat the plant catnip? So random, but this educational website has all the answers. 
You can access it by going to www.wonderopolis.org. Wonderopolis is a place where curiosity and imagination lead to exploration and discovery. Using the search bar, you can see if your wondering has already been asked by another kid around the world. If not, you could also submit your own wondering to the Wonder Bank, which could be chosen as a future wonder of the day. Each day, the website poses an intriguing question, known as the wonder of the day, and explores the answer in a variety of ways. Another really cool feature of this website is Camp Wonderopolis. It's a free gamified online learning platform where you create your own avatar and follow your own path through six tracks of scientific exploration. You'll have the opportunities for fun, hands-on STEM activities using everyday items from your house that help you learn even more about your wonderings. What are you waiting for? Get wondering. Our first graphic novel book recommendation is El Defo by C.C. Bell. El Defo is the story of a girl trying to make new friends. But making new friends while wearing a bulky hearing aid strapped to your chest is not easy. This funny, poignant graphic novel chronicles Belle's own hearing loss at a young age and her subsequent experiences with the phonic ear, a powerful and very awkward hearing aid. Hmm, does this incredible device give Cece superpowers? You'll have to read to find out. If you like reading about astonishing people and you love graphic novels, you may like these stories as well. The Breadwinner or Hey Kiddo. Our final graphic novel recommendation is The Black Panther graphic novel by ta Coates. A new era begins for The Black Panther. Award-winning writer ta Coates takes the helm, confronting T'Challa with a dramatic upheaval in Wakanda that will make leading the African nation tougher than ever before. When a superhuman terrorist group that calls itself The People sparks a violent uprising, the land, famed for its incredible technology and proud warrior traditions, will be thrown into turmoil. If Wakanda is to survive, it must adapt, but, it can, but can its monarch, one in a long line of Black Panthers, survive the necessary change? Check out the Black Panther graphic novel to find out. If you really enjoy graphic novels, the popular Percy Jackson series has been written as a graphic novel series as well, and is available online in many school destiny libraries. If you really enjoy Marvel superheroes, Jason Reynolds recently wrote a novel version of Miles Morales' Superman that is not to be missed. We hope you enjoyed listening to the many summer reading recommendations throughout this program. Have an amazing summer and don't forget to check out some of these great options to read and explore.